Hello friends, welcome to Sahar Domain channel. In this video, we will learn about how to install MySQL. First, open the browser, whichever you like, and then type MySQL installer. We will install for Windows operating system, so we choose whichever is our requirement. Click on the download button. Here just click on no and just start my download. Here the download is start now as our download completes so we go to the download folder now click on the mysql installer now click on run Now wait for a second. Now click on next button. If you want MySQL for Visual Studio, then check it. Otherwise, leave it. I don't want to install for it Visual Studio, so so we click on next button. Click on yes. Click on execute. Wait for a while to install all these. As installation complete, click on next button. Click on next. Again, click on next. Next. Type your password. Again, click on next button. Click on execute button. It will take us some time. After then, click on finish button. Again, click on next button. Click on finish button. Type your password. Connection succeeded. Click on next button. Click on execute button. Click on finish. Click on next button. Now click on finish button. Now installation is completed. Now after installing, check our MySQL command line. So click on Windows, click on search bar and tap MySQL. Here we can see MySQL command line client. So click on it and it asks for a password. So type the password which we enter in installation time now it's working it confirms that our mysql 
is installed properly. Now type exit to exit it. Now press enter. Now after installation we can also check our MySQL workbench. Click on the start button. Click on search bar and now type MySQL workbench. Here it is. We can click on MySQL workbench. A window is open. It gives us some unsupported operating system error, but we will ignore it right now. Here our MySQL workbench window. So first. For connection, we click on add button. Here it is hostname, root, and in password, we click on and enter our password. Remember, the password must be same which we enter in our MySQL installation time. Here it gives our that our connection is successful. So click on OK. We can also give it a name. We can also give connection name. Now click on OK. Now our local host connection is created so our mysql workbench is installed properly